sending data. Okay, Facebook I think is online and I'm still waiting on YouTube. Okay. I think I'm live on both. Hold on, just turn up your sound. Okay, can you guys hear me? Inga's here. Hey, Inga. Hey. She says hi. So, hey guys, welcome to Creatively Virtual Paint Party. I'm Marina, I'm the founder of Creatively, and I'm gonna be your host for this evening. And I'm here joined by Alex, my boyfriend. Hi everyone, Shelly Hardwick is here. <laughs> hey Shelly. Um, so we have some people joining right now. So we are streaming on Facebook and on YouTube. The artist Elaine has arrived. Sup? And we have a special guest tonight. Um, we have the artist Yelena Merchevskaya, who's going to be joining us tonight. Um, she's the one who painted this painting called Basic Beach. And we might talk about that later, why it's named that. Um, so she's joining us on Facebook on chat. So if you guys have any questions or comments and if you have anything you want to ask Elena, please feel free. Hey, Jana. Hey, Sarah. How's it going, guys? Just if you guys are joining, hi. Um, please say where you're from in the chat. So... Um, so the reason that we're doing this right now is I just want to help you guys relax, um, have some fun and forget about everything that's going on in the world. Um, so let's just pour ourselves a glass of our favorite beverage. Um, and let's start. So what are you drinking? Babes? So I am drinking. So this is really weird. It's Game of Thrones branded Pinot Noir. Um, and I have not tried it yet. So I'll let you know how it is. Thank and you. I did not realize that Pinot Noir Game of Thrones is a brand. Um, so, so Anna says, hey. Hi, Anna. Yana, I'm drinking a little something special for the occasion, McAllen 18. It is a special occasion. It is a special occasion. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the supplies that I have right now. Um, if you guys have purchased the Creatively kit, you have all the supplies that you see here. I'm actually using the same paints and the same brushes as I sent you guys. Um, so we have our 12 by 12 inch canvas. We have five colors of paint, which I'm going to hold up so you guys can see. And I put this on the palette paper. So the palette paper is actually for mixing the colors. So you don't have to use a paper plate. Um, you don't have to use a piece of wood. You just mix right on the palette paper and it works perfectly. And the box actually came with two sheets of palette paper. So you have a lot of space to mix everything. Um, and then I also have two brushes. So I have a flat head brush and a round head brush. Um, so this one is for the details. This one is for all the bigger things that you want to paint. And I also have my cup of water. And then of course I have my paper towel and then my wine. And I think we're all set. Lena has arrived. Let's see the comments. Hi, Lena. Hi, Vlad. Hi, Jane. Move the comments to that screen. Which one? The top screen so you can see them. I could still see them. Okay, guys, so in the comments, who's never painted before? Is it anyone's first time painting? Just gonna turn this off. Okay, Vlad needs his wine. Is yes, you do. Hi, Maria. Okay, guys. So before we start, we are going to do a quick pledge. And especially if you've never painted before, this is really important. Ina's sort so, of first time. Ina? Very nice. Sort of. 
Sort of. Okay. I mean, we, we've probably all painted in elementary school, I hope. Okay. So you guys are going to pick up your brush in your right hand and repeat after me, Alex. Are you ready? Oh, yes. Okay. I promise. I promise. To have fun and relax. To have fun and relax. To not judge my painting. To not judge my painting. And the painting of others. And the painting of others. And that's it. And you're ready. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay. So the first thing that I'm going to do. Sarah Hall's first time. Yes. Sarah, I'm so excited for you. Patrick too with Melanie and Patrick. Oh, Ricky's here. Hey, Ricky. <laughs> and Ricky's painting with her left hand. So if you guys are just joining, we actually have the artist on Facebook joining us, Yelena Merchevskaya. If you have not seen her work, check it out on Instagram. It's awesome. It's um, her handle is Yelena Merch. So this is one of her paintings. What's up? Stop here. So, hey, Asaf. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to mix um, a nice light blue color. So if you guys have never painted before, the way that you make a color light is you add white to it. So I am going to take just a little bit of blue. And let me see if you could see my palette. I'm gonna move this off. Okay. So if you guys could see my palette here, I'm taking a little bit of blue and I'm taking a lot of white and mixing it together. And I'm using my big brush, okay? Because these are going to be pretty big strokes that we're starting with. It's a little hard to see. Should the brush be wet, someone asked. Yeah, so I had my brush in the water already, so it was wet to begin with. So when I take it out, I usually just dab it a little bit on the paper towel so it's not like dripping wet. Um, and then you could start dipping it into the paint. So once you're pretty happy with your light blue color, you could go ahead and start on the canvas. And this is, for first-time painters, this is... A pretty scary step so all of us are just gonna be fearless tonight and we're just gonna do it together so you're gonna start with diagonal strokes and you're gonna cover about um, two-thirds of your canvas okay so I'm just doing this diagonally and covering the canvas And if your paint dries up a little bit, you could dip it a little bit into the water and then back onto your palette. How's it going, Alex? It's going pretty well. So let me just see the comments. ASMR brushing. ASMR. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of ASMR. So I got a microphone that I'm using. So the sound captures everything. So if you're into that, yes. Why don't you ask me, how's the sound compared to the first one? Well, for those of you who were on the first time we did a live paint party, um, we had a lot of technical difficulties. So everything that could have gone wrong that night probably did so this time we're just we're feeling good because we already hit all the bumps the first time you still didn't ask me to about the sound comparison. well i think the sound is much better so if you guys are good with the sound let me know if someone says mirrored. my screen is mirrored I don't, I don't know what that means but okay it means they're seeing like opposite are you seeing opposite? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm seeing like the top right, the... Hold on, let me try to 
switch this. Is that better? No, it's not. Because it's, uh, it's a little delayed. It's okay. If it's mirrored, that's fine. It's um, so... No, because now everything's moved to the left. Yeah, so I just switched it. That's fine. Yes, everything's a little backwards. <laughs> well, last time uh, we had a lot of camera issues, so I was painting pretty much upside down, and I don't even know how that worked, but it, it turned out fine. So we are just covering pretty much up to here with the blue. Maybe you can say like the corner that you're starting from. It, do it doesn't matter. And if you, so just remember that this is your painting. So if you choose to go with, you know, a darker color or if and you want to do pink or if you want to do any color. other color, please feel free to do so because this is your painting. Anna asked which corner should have the light blue. So we're actually doing both corners. So it's just going down, but it doesn't matter. It's the sky. So it could look slightly different on your piece. Um, so it's not it's not gonna look like stripes or anything. So it doesn't really matter which corner you do. But right now we're covering just both. Vlad slash J maybe look confused. <laughs> Elena said it worked, but like it moved you all the way to the other side. Yeah, I saw that. So we are doing a little bit of a mirror image, I guess, but that's fine because your piece would just look reverse and that's totally cool. It doesn't really matter. Okay, let me try again. And then I'm just gonna move this. How's this? Wait, it didn't happen yet. Hold on. It just happened. Uh, when you flipped your camera, it worked. I, I'm reading the comments on the screen. So it looks better in terms of... <laughs> so let me know um, if it worked because I tried to flip the camera. Awesome. Okay. So, uh, Yana asked a little bit more to the left. Asab said it's confusing because now my painting is on the wrong side. <laughs> and it, does, it doesn't really matter which side you're doing because all we're doing is just painting the blue color right now. And we're kind of covering three-fourths of the canvas. So then I just keep mixing the color over and over again if I run out. So I'm just creating the same type of blue. And if your blue's a little bit darker or lighter, it doesn't really matter because the sky naturally has different gradients in it. So it'll look even better. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Yelena, can you tell us the inspiration for this painting, Basic Beach? And I love the title, by the way. Rama's loving it. <laughs> I see. And 
as your adult beverage. How's that? I don't know. I keep on I keep on forgetting to drink this. It's important. It's 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 not bad actually. Jean was painting on cardboard. It's in pressure, Jean. Nicely done. So if you guys don't have canvas or you don't have the right paints, it's totally fine. You could just join in with tempera paints. Uh, steal some from you know your kids. Um, you could finger paint. So there's lots of options. And I'm just literally going back and forth diagonally on the canvas with the same color. Elena's response. So Elena says, I wanted to give people a glimpse into summertime, a tropical and relaxing vibe, especially given our current quarantine situation. I yes. Dig I dig it. Alex digs it. Well, some of us who are painting are actually based in Florida, so they get this kind of view every day. I think um, Urchie has joined us and she's based in Florida. Okay, so this is pretty much three fourths of the way. If you guys did more, that's totally fine. Um, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Here. So how are you doing on your blue? Who's ready for the next step? Let me know in the comments. This guy is. Alex, you're ready? I'm ready for the next <laughs> Okay. So the next step is you're going to wash your brush completely because we're going to do the next color. And I have my cup of water and my wine really close together. So I just need to be really careful. Hannah's ready. The sap's ready. All right. Okay. So now we are going to make pink. So Alex, how do you make pink? Alex has painted only once before in his life, or so he says. Red and white. Red and white? Okay. Obviously. Yes. Obviously. Good job. Okay, so we're going to take just a little bit of red. So can you guys see my palette? I'm going to put this down a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm using just a little bit of red and a lot of white, and I'm just going to make a nice pink color. And you kind of get it to where you like it, so it could be a little darker, it could be a little lighter. I'm going to add a little bit more white. So then you guys are going to go right into the blue. And this is the part that's really fun, but also a little bit scary. So don't worry. It's just going to mix. And it's really cool to actually watch it mix together. So you're going to go right into it with your diagonal strokes and kind of mix it into the blue. So my color is actually really light, but it looks pretty. So I kind of like it. 
So I'm gonna make it a little bit darker because I want it to show a little bit more. Um, so you go right into the blue and you could take it up a little bit. So don't be scared to go right into the color. Be fearless. Be fearless, exactly. You made us promise. I actually forgot the be fearless part at the end. It was your oath. I know. <laughs> So I'm kind of going right into the blue and then dragging the paint down a little bit. Elena. So Yelena says to make sure I don't waste all my white, I usually like to start with the white and then add red little by little. That way the color changes gradually. So do you start with white on the actual canvas or do you mix it on your palette? Let's see what she says, but that's a really good tip. So we are kind of doing diagonal strokes back and forth, just right into the blue and then continuing it down almost till the end. Almost. Not fully? Not fully. Because we do have a little bit of the yellow. This is actually a really pretty pink. And the nice part about acrylic paint is that you could always fix your mistakes. So let's say if you used too much pink, you could always go back with the blue and just cover it up. So just, it's really forgiving. And if I see that it's getting a little bit dry on my canvas, I just dip it a little bit into the water and then back onto my palette. What do I do with all the hair to fall out of my brush? <laughs> Yelena says she's mixed on the palette. Okay, so Yelena says, I mix on the palette. If you start with red and add white to it, it'll take a while for it to turn the really light pink that you want. It's easier to do it in reverse sometimes. That's a really good tip. And then Jean goes, what do I do with all the hairs that are falling out of my brush? You purchase a brush from Creatively. That won't happen. Boom. And then, boom. So I'm gonna show you guys, let's say if I make a mistake and I do too much pink here, for instance, I wanna cover this up. So I'm just gonna wash my brush and I'm gonna dip it back into the light blue paint and just cover it right up. So I'm gonna go back into here and just do the same thing here and just literally I'm just Covering up that pink. Here's that texture. <laughs> and just try not to make it so stripey because the sky has a lot of gradients in it and there's colors all over the place. So it's not just perfect stripes. So really try to mix your colors together and don't be scared of it. I know it's intimidating at first. Yes. <laughs> My watercolor is actually really pretty right now. It's like a light bluish pink. How's everyone doing with the mixing? Are you feeling more comfortable? So I'm kind of going almost till the end, but I'm leaving a little bit of white for the yellow color. Too many layers if I keep going over it too much. So Yana says, is it possible to add too many layers if I keep going over it too much? Like with the paint will the paint crack off or something? So it depends on what paint you have, but with acrylic, usually layering is a good thing. It just gives it a lot of texture and it gives it um, variation in the color. 
So the more you layer, the cooler it gets. Um, and a lot of artists, and I'm sure Yelena will answer this as well, um, they put a random color in the back. So let's say they're painting something that looks blue, but they put like a green color as the base and then the blue over it. So that gives it really cool variation. And you could kind of almost see other colors in it. So you could actually make your paint pretty thick and it'll look really nice. Elena, I don't know if you feel the same. So again, I'm just going back and forth in a diagonal motion and I'm pretty much done with the pink. I like how it's coming out. So just keep working at it till you like it. There's really no way to know when you're finished. It's just, you have to feel it. I think you should take a big sip of your adult beverage. Should I? Is that a comment or? That is a Alex comment. <laughs> From an observer. Okay. Is anyone having anything interesting? As your adult beverage, is anyone drinking any fancy wine or anything else? Fancy Except Alex over here. Fancy so I'm pretty much ready to do my next color. Yelena what do you think? Response to the layer. So Yelena says. Sometimes I'm putting a million layers down for no reason at all. Just like the feeling of the paint hitting the canvas. That's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> yes, yeah, this, this, this mic works well, I guess. Okay, Janice. <laughs> so I'm now going to wash my brush because I'm going to do the light yellow color. So I'm just going to wash it completely and then dab it a little bit on the paper towel. Inga, we'll put yours on our rain check. Oh, Inga, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Okay, so now we are gonna mix the yellow color. So what I like to do is add um, yellow, white, and if you wanna make it a little bit more warm, you could add just a tiny bit of red to make it like an orangey uh, yellow color. but it's mostly just yellow and white, and then you could do just a little bit of red. I don't know if you guys can see my palette. And then you're gonna go right into the pink. So again, the same thing that we were doing, we're just going right into the pink and it actually creates this orangey color. So you, you don't even need to mix it um, on your palette. You could mix it directly on the canvas. That's my favorite beverage. Oh no, someone ran out of white color. color. <laughs> we do use a lot of white for this painting, but if you run out, if you're up to the yellow, then you could just use the yellow. You don't really need to mix it with white. So you could just have a darker variation of it. And this is pretty much the last time we're using white. We won't be using it for the palm trees. No. And what I like to do guys with my paint pots. So let me try to move it towards the camera. Um, so I don't actually scoop out everything because then it's really easy to use up everything very quickly. So what I do is I put a Q-tip in there and I just scoop out a little bit at a time and keep adding that way it stays clean inside the paint pot. And also you have a lot left over life hack life hack. Yes. So I'm gonna cover the rest of the canvas with the yellow and go right into the pink as well. So you're kind of mixing the two together. 
and you're going pretty much in the same strokes just back and forth Oh, that's a really good tip, Yelena. So Yelena says, um, if you guys ran out of the white, you can also dilute the yellow with water and it will blend with the other pink and blues on your canvas. Pro tip. Two lead packs in one day. <laughs> you guys the packs or And there's another one for you, Anastasia. So you could also go rogue and make a totally different color. And I'm sure it'll still look beautiful. So you could do like a darker blue on the bottom. You could do um, a red, a yellow, just a straight up yellow. So we're pretty much covering the bottom part of our canvas with the yellow pinkish color. And I'm actually, I'm bringing it up all the way even into the blue and I'm just seeing what happens. And it just mixes. And if you guys use too much of something, you could always cover it up with the other color. So just wash your brush and then create the other color and just go right over it and it'll cover it up. So you just keep working at it till you like how your sky comes out. So this looks pretty okay to me. How are you guys doing with the yellow? Jana, this is for you. I hope that was a loud slurp. How are you doing, Alex? Alex is pretending to paint in the back. In my mind, my picture is beautiful. I just want you to know that. I can see it. So I'm just kind of adding the yellow wherever so you could take it up even higher if you want to. So it kind of just all blends together. And there's a shadow over my canvas. But I think you could still see it. A little bit. So who is ready for the palm trees? I think we need to let the paint dry just a little bit. A little refill, so, refill of the beverage. A little refill, yes. So I'm actually seeing some um, white parts of my canvas that I didn't cover um, with paint. So I'm going to go back in there with the blue just because I could still see the canvas through it. So you don't want to see anything um, through the paint. You want to make sure that the paint actually covers the canvas fully. So I'm just going to create my blue again and go back into it. Need so much white. non-artists why wouldn't uh, it be okay just leaving it like just adding a little white and imperfection to the sky 
Um, so Alex asks, why um, do you want to cover up the canvas and not leave just white bits because the sky does have white. So if you do want to add white variation to the sky, you can do it with the paint instead of leaving the canvas just because you could see that it's a canvas texture and it doesn't actually look like paint, if that makes sense. So if you do want white variation in your sky or you want to add clouds, um, you could do that with the white paint and just go right into it. And don't be scared, be fearless. Jana thought this would be, was wrong. Be too quick. <laughs> for the long haul. Jana, um, last time you did two paintings at a time, so maybe you can do two as well here. If she's not at least through four, she's slacking. <laughs> so I'm just going back into the blue and just making sure that I'm covering up the canvas. And you could actually use like thicker paint if you want to to create some texture. <laughs> no excuse, Jean. Oh, so Jana was using cardboard as the canvas. Um, so I think that probably soaks in a lot of the paint and dries it off. So it's a little bit more difficult to work with as a, as a surface. Yelena, are you creating anything right now? Are you painting along? Are you sketching? What are you up to? This almost looks like white variations in the sky. So I'm just gonna hang out for a little bit. I'm gonna let the painting dry for a bit before we do the palm trees. So you could just take it and wiggle it around a little bit and just let it dry just a bit. Don't drop it. And don't drop it. Elena's watching, just watching. Uh. <laughs> Question from Inga to Yelena. Let me read it. Yelena, what inspires you to paint basic beach? What inspired you to? <laughs> I think that question was already asked, Inga. <laughs> Yelena with a hard scroll up. Hit him with the scroll up. Yelena, so I actually have a question for you. So I've known your art for several years and I feel like it's evolved over time into several different phases going from a really dark disturbing phase to a more lighter um, nature phase. Um, do you want to talk to us a little bit about the different phases you went through and where you're at right now? Inga doesn't want to scroll. <laughs> I keep wanting to um, lift this cup of water and drink it. Don't do it. I know.
I think this is going to be a long reply from me, Elena. Um, how are we guys, how are we doing on the background? Are you guys ready to move on or do you want a little bit of time? <laughs> so Yana says, Yelena's landscapes are still kind of dark, in my opinion. I tend to agree with that. And if you guys haven't seen Yelena's artwork, you should definitely check it out on Instagram. Her handle is um, Yelena Merch, M-I-R-C-H. Okay. Shelly's ready. Shelly's ready. Let's do it. Okay, so we are going to move on to the smaller brush. And if you guys are not using the paint kit, that's totally fine. Whichever brush you have, um, if it's just a little bit smaller for you to create the details, that would be more helpful. And if you don't have a smaller brush, that's cool too. You could still work with a bigger one and just use the side of it. So we are gonna um, wet this brush a little bit. And instead of doing the palm trees in black, I actually like to mix a few different colors together to make the dark color a little bit more vibrant. So I like to mix the red and blue together and then add a little bit of black to it. And you guys could see what color you get. So it, it's kind of like a dark purple. So I am just mixing this. Uh, can you guys see my palette? Yes. So I kind of have this dark purplish blue color. Remove your, yeah. Can you lift up the palette so that you can see? Yeah. Yelena has a response for you. Okay, so while we're painting this color, Yelena says, I think the majority of my work has always focused on drawing people and portraits and using paint using pen as the main material. But in the past few months, I've been painting la landscapes and interiors with ink and watercolors, and that's been really therapeutic. I dig it. So maybe the corona thing has inspired you to do more, less dark art. Okay, so once I mix this dark color, um, so this is the part where you're going to test out your bravery again because you're adding a really dark color to a light background and it's not scary at all. You can do it. So I am going to um, add two trunks for the, for the palm trees just to mark them. So I'm going to start a little bit on the bottom and just do the first one. So it's kind of a, just a curve going up. And then I'm gonna do the second one a little bit higher up. So I'm gonna do one here. Just like that. And then I'm just gonna make them thicker. And they don't have to be perfect because tree trunks are never perfect. They're still, they're crooked. So it doesn't really matter. As long as you thin it out at the top. So just make sure that it's getting a little bit thinner at the top. Paint is a little bit thin. So I'm just creating these tree trunks and palm trees. So I've actually never painted palm trees till this painting and it's actually super fun. I didn't realize how fun it was and therapeutic. So thank you, Elena. So then once I have my tree trunks, I'm going to mark where I want the leaves to be. So I'm just going to create a few lines. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, 
You don't have to do five, you could do less than five, you could do four, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. It's kind of like that. I don't think even my mental painting looks like it. <laughs> I think your mental painting looks amazing. I can see it right now. So we're just marking where the leaves are going to go. Looks almost like fireworks. So this is kind of my favorite part of this painting is these leaves. So I'm going to make my color a little bit wet. And I'm going to apply um, very light pressure to the canvas with my brush. So I'm just going to lightly create curvy lines going down. So just my hand is kind of covering a little, a little bit. Um, kind of like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, also going in the same direction. And I'm going to actually make this a little bit wetter so that it goes on even lighter. Can you do it for the leaves without covering it? I'm going to try to do it without covering it. So, because I don't know. Can you hold the other way? No. So I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'm actually going to use a little bit more paint. And I'm just applying really light pressure and doing curvy lines. In, in the S, what do you mean make the paint wet? So you're just adding a little bit of water to it. So you're adding a little bit of water to it so it kind of, it's easier to put on the canvas. And when you're applying light pressure to it, it kind of flows better. So just experiment with the pressure that you're applying on the actual brush. So you're doing thinner, you're thinning out your lines at the bottom and you're making them thicker at the top. So I'm just gonna cover this leaf at the top with paint and it's thinning out below. So this is like one side of the leaf. See Alex, um, you wish you would have been painting right now. I told you I am. <laughs> and then so i'm just gonna make it thicker next to the base of the leaf and then thin it out well, at the end yeah so i'm using the small brush so we have two different brushes we have the flathead brush and we have the round head brush which is smaller so this is the brush for more details oh i just got some red into here so i'm just covering up the middle part of the leaf and i'm just thinning out the lines at the end <laughs> alex do you want to address yana's comment i told you she's I asking She's I'm asking if you're painting. So Alex is mentally painting with us right now. There's a lovely canvas in my mind. So I'm also gonna cover the middle section of the leaf with for the next leaf and just continue doing the lines for this leaf I'm trying to show you guys. Oh, this this works. If my arm is awkwardly this way. <laughs> And it actually looks pretty cool if you leave some gaps in the leaf in the middle. It gives it a little bit more depth. So you could try doing that. You could try leaving a little bit um, of a horizontal line in the middle of the leaf. And we could try doing that together for some of the other leaves. So now I'm gonna do this side. So I'm actually gonna create this gap here by just 
drawing another line and kind of leaving this gap here and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the lines going in one direction. I agree. Yeah. Yana has a good comment. So Yana says it's cool how it started out with random lines and now it's an actual thing. Yeah. It's art. all coming together now. That's why I love this part so much. Hashtag art. <laughs> And really, there's no way to mess this part up. If you guys see that by accident, you went the other direction with your brush. So for instance, I'm going up instead of down. You could fix that and just go the direction that you actually want to go. Jana may be struggling with her leaf. I don't believe that for a second. My leaf looks like a dead opossum. <laughs> I can't wait to see your painting, Jana. So I left a little bit of a gap in the middle here. And I'm just gonna move on to some of the other leaves. And some of them are gonna be overlapping each other, which is totally fine. And I'm also gonna do a, a small gap here as well. So I'm creating another line here and leaving a little gap in the middle and just doing the same thing with the brush strokes. So then the middle of this palm tree is pretty much going to be filled in with black. crazy I feel you Sarah I feel you <laughs> so that's exactly it it so Sarah says I just have lines on branches but that's exactly what this is so these are just curvy lines on branches and you're just thinning them out at the top so just use a little bit of water with your brush so it's easier to thin them out and you're just applying really light strokes To your brush and I'm just covering the middle part I can't tell if I'm covering up the canvas with my arm uh, not fully okay a little bit You're just creating little lines, you're thinning them out at the top, and they're all kind of going in the same direction. So I'm gonna start on the next palm tree, and it's pretty much gonna be the same thing. And it's going to overlap the other one, which is totally fine. So it's fine if they overlap each other. Oof, I got Tricker happy with the layer and still waiting for it to dry. Shannon. Jana needs help making black. Jana needs help making black. So um, you could use red, blue, um, and a little bit of black. And if you don't have black, then you could just use the primary colors and a, that's going to create like a dark brown color. So if you use just blue, red, and yellow, that's going to make it um, a dark brownish black color. How 
do you not have paint all over your hands? <laughs> I do. Right here. Hold on, I can't seem to turn this to the camera. There we go. Sorcery. I got paint on me as soon as I started setting up. Yeah, but like on purpose. No. Like accidentally on purpose. <laughs> And if you guys want palm trees that are really full looking, you could just keep adding leaves to them. I think I need a refill, Alex. Or soon, I know. Why did you put it there? Because it's, it's holding up a few things. So I can't serve you when it's there. <laughs> So I'm going to create another one here and it's just going to go right over this other palm tree. They're just all overlapping each other. painting this relax you it does for sure um i think a lot of people just worry about what the final outcome is going to be and then it kind of stresses them out but if you don't think about that and you only focus on the actual process then it it's really relaxing and then also you guys could just paint just colors on a canvas you could just you know, mix a bunch of colors and see what happens. And I think that's very therapeutic when you don't try to make it look like something necessarily. So I am gonna refill my glass. I hope you guys do too. With my Ga Game of Thrones Pinot Noir. <laughs> So I'm going to add a few leaves over here. So just coming out from the left side of the canvas. So I'm just going to do the same thing that I did before. So just going to drop down. So let's say like two leaves, three leaves, maybe three. You ever take a couple leaves? Yeah. So I just, I just mark them. <laughs> So Jane says her trees look hairy. So do mine. <laughs> like the four cups during the Seder. Indeed. Indeed, Ricky. So one of my leaves is going to overlap um, the trunk of the palm tree. just totally fine and that's just totally fine of course is anyone painting with totally different colors like has anyone made their sky purple or green or anything crazy i would love to see it after 
Hare Krishna. Shannon. Shannon's got a good comment. So Shannon says, I need liquid courage to paint them trees. Yes. This is why this mix of like hanging out, drinking your beverage, painting is a really good idea. You know? You know, Alex? Yeah. Like I could do this for a while. So, so I'm going to add a little bit more black. And obviously the more you guys paint, the easier it gets and you just get a lot more comfortable with it. Constantine's here. Hi, Constantine. That means my sister's probably with him too. Hi, Anna. Hi, Faust. Okay, so I need to create a lot more of this dark color. Okay, so I'm just continuing to make these leaves. Yelena, how do you know when you have enough leaves on your canvas? Like, when do you know when to stop? Because I could just keep going. Chris just asked, what's up? These palm trees are up. <laughs> Some very sexy leaves indeed. Thank you. So I'm going to do one more here. It's looking a little crazy. Crazy how it's coming together. Paint some stripes, paint some lines. All of a sudden we got a scene. Exactly. It's always when you're painting the background, it just doesn't look like anything. It could be literally whatever colors you want. And then once you do the foreground, then it just all starts coming together. Inga's ready for birds. Inga, did you do the other side? I almost forgot that there are birds in this painting, actually. I forgot. I didn't like, realize. completely forgot. So you, you do the other side, then birds? Yeah, the birds are the last step. I see. Okay, so Yelena says, for that painting, I stopped when I had some part that that were solid black and you couldn't see the sky through the leaves on the edges. So kind of what I have here, where it's just kind of, Thick leaves. yeah. Inga did not paint the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Inga's just ready for the birds. Last, Inga, we do them last. Okay, so I'm now gonna add some leaves on the other side. So I'm only gonna add maybe like three or four. So they're gonna be facing down. So I'm gonna mark them here. So I'm just gonna mark them with these curvy lines here. And you guys could do some at the top if you want. I'm just only gonna do them on this side. So it's kind of balanced. Did you 
you just do the leaves on that side? Yeah, as opposed to palm trees. Well, yeah, as opposed to the trunk. Yeah, it's just um, so the, the trunk would be somewhere here, so it's just not seen in this shot. Like, know what I'm saying? I do. And actually, for this one leaf, I'm just gonna do one side of it, so it just looks like it's kind of hanging. Um, instead of having the leaves, the lines from both sides of the tr of the leaf. I think I just said the leaves from both sides of the leaf. I don't even know what that means. Allow myself to introduce myself. If you know a movie that's Sharp Hunt, <laughs> that would be fantastic. Do you know a movie that's Sharp Hunt? I think so. I almost want to see if the audience knows what movie that's Sharp Hunt. But it's okay. Do you want to pull the audience? I don't. <laughs> That's right, Yelena. Patience. Patience is a virtue. This one's kind of just chilling here, this leaf. Dr. T A S M R. It's Austin Powers, ain't it? I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> Yana goes, I'm triggered with the movie questions as someone who's never seen a movie. So I'm the same way, Yana. Alex um, always quotes different movies, and I never know what they are. It's so sad. But he always quotes really bad movies. So I only know quotes from the best movies, and he only quotes movies that are really terrible. I've never heard a more false statement in my life. <laughs> So I don't feel bad about not knowing it, to be honest. That's fair. Inga says, define terrible. I guess that question is yes, for me. I'm pretty sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, no I don't want to offend her. anyone by their movie choices, you know? She hasn't seen anything. It's not depressing. It's terrible. I don't, I don't have a favorite. I can't possibly pick a favorite. <laughs> <laughs> What's like a really bad movie that you made me watch that I fell asleep to? Was, was it, it Brothers? It, was it Brothers? Sure. No, it wasn't Brothers. First of all, the movie is called Step Brothers. Step Brothers. Second of all, we haven't gotten to me making you watch that yet. What? Step Brothers. Step Brothers? Role Models. Oh, it was Role Models. Yes. Great movie. Fantastic. It's a classic. <laughs> Stop, you're the man. <laughs> <laughs> so it does kind of look like feathers. I think you would probably paint feathers the same way. So I'm kind of filling some of these in a little bit because the paint feels a little thin here. Thank you, Shelly. Shelly understands and has fantastic taste in movies. <laughs> Sarah 
See, I said I, I don't want to offend anyone. That's why I don't want to talk about which movies I like or dislike. I'm starting to add too many um, palm leaves. Tell me when to stop. Okay. I think it's time for the birds. I think, hold on, wait. There seems to be like a piece that's needed right over here. <laughs> Speaking of feathers, Inga is so ready. Inga, we're almost ready for the birds. We're like like one minute away from that She's happening. to drop off if you don't start painting birds. <laughs> Okay, that, that makes me feel better, this little leaf right there. It's more complete now. Yeah, it's just, it feels more complete. Now it's time for birds. So I'm actually going into some of these with um, thicker paint, and that way I could really define some of these um, brush strokes. So now it looks like this palm tree is overlapping this trunk because otherwise it kind of, um, you couldn't really tell what was in front. So I'm just putting these. Hi, Irina. Okay, Asaf says the crows have eyes. One of the greatest movies made. Okay, so I don't think I've ever seen that. Have you? Have you? I'm looking at its uh, cover thing. So who's ready for the birds other than Inga? It all, no, it looks like a horror movie. It's definitely not something I would have seen. I know, it actually, it sounded like a horror movie. Is it though? You looked it up? Okay, so I think we're gonna move on to birds and you guys are still using the dark bluish reddish black color that you've made for the birds. So we are gonna add two birds to the area that you have in between these palm trees. Elena goes, the birds. I remember this movie, Elena. We watched it as children and it was terrifying. Oh my God, I showered with a bat for two weeks after watching that in high school. With what? With a, a bat? bat? Yeah. I don't remember whatever scene you're... Oh my God, at the end he gets attacked. It's crazy. It's a hit, yeah, she's right. It's a Hitchcock film. It's, all, it's crazy. Okay, so for the birds, we're going to also apply really light pressure with the brush. And I'm just going to do a curvy line like that. And then I'm going to do a triangle in the middle. It's going to be a, a triangle like that. And then I'm just going to fill in the wings a little bit in the center so ah, here's my bird that's such a cool bird i feel like there's so many techniques for birds and i always feel like i'm painting them the same way so i'm just gonna thin out the wings a little bit at the ends and then I'm also going to add a tiny little beak in the front just apply really light pressure with your brush just like that kind of see it so then I'm going to do the other one so I'm going to make the other bird right over here So 
So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna draw just a curvy line for the wings. And then I'm gonna do a triangle in the middle. Phyllis has a comment about your poems. Oh, my words? Yeah. So Phyllis says, notice how the balance of your palm branches help to keep your eye moving throughout the painting. The birds will bring it all together. Exactly, Phyllis. Thank you. Yeah, it just feels very balanced with these branches being in this corner and then the palm trees being in the top left. <laughs> so then I'm filling in the wings a little bit in the middle. Yeah. My birds are so different. <laughs> Asaf says my birds are so different, they are different species. And I'm gonna do a little beak. Rihanna's bird looks like a boomerang, she needs help. Like a what? A boomerang. My bird looks like a boomerang. <laughs> should I do an, should I do a third one just so we could run through it again? Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay, so I'm gonna do a third one in the middle just so I could show you guys again. Sean, are you ready? Should I just do it like here somewhere? Right what do you think, right in the middle? So I'm gonna do a thin curvy line for the wings. I'm just gonna do a small. And then I'm gonna do a little triangle in the middle of it. It's like a long, long triangle. And then I'm gonna make the wings a little bit thicker in the middle part next to the triangle. You could just keep adding more birds. I, I feel like birds are fun. Yelena, why did you only do two for this painting? How did you how did you know when to stop? You know, romantic sunset, two birds. Fair point. And then I'm going to do a little beak for this one too. Just a tiny one. And there you have it, our three birds. I feel like people go crazy with the birds and just make them all over the place. Like, why not, you know? <laughs> this, is your, this is your painting. You guys can do whatever you want. Yana says the more the merrier, exactly. Agreed. One bird is a is a lonely bird. You gotta give it some friends. So I'm just fixing them up a little bit. So there you have it, guys. We've just painted basic beach. So if you guys are finishing up with your painting, I would absolutely love to see what you've created. So if you post it on social media, please tag Creatively Box um, on Facebook, on Instagram, wherever you guys post it. I would absolutely love to see um, what you've created. Yelena says, I admit I could have added more. Yes. Well, I just added a third one for you. So there. No copyright boom. So I think we're done with our painting. Alex, do you want to say hi to the camera before we before we leave? <laughs> I guess that's a no. Hello. We can't see you. 
<laughs> well, thank you guys so much for joining. This was really fun. I hope you enjoyed the painting. And I'm sure we'll create something really soon together. So I'll let you know when. Take care, guys.